Boots. Okay. Ready for you. Boots is gonna become Iron Man. <laughs> become Iron Man, Boots. You huh. are Iron Man. It's Welcome to the Become Iron Man experience. Raise your arms to the side. Prepare to suit up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> 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 okay guys, I have a full limp. It's day, not even a whole day in Seattle. And Chino has me going out tonight. Not. not what? I am in serious pain. And all you care about is partying. I showed your niece some love. What? You think a kiss is gonna do anything? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me right now? No. What else could I possibly do to make your niece better? Nothing. Exactly. It's all right. I'm probably going to dip in 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. More for me? Yeah. This Twitch party better be freaking amazing. Don't well, it is going to be amazing because it's at an art museum, huh? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Maybe if I get a little bit shifty, I won't feel my knee. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This voice that you guys are hearing right now is the one, the only voice of Lil Wayne, aka Tonchi. Tonchi. inside this metal Mario house. It hasn't even opened yet. I wonder what it's gonna look like inside. It's like an art exhibit. It's actually gonna be really cool. I'm excited to see. This is classical. Duh. <laughs> no, no, no. Where are they? Are they doing like game songs? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> this is a gaming event. <gasps> Wait, I know this song. I don't know it. Oh my god, no. This is such a classic song. Everyone knows this song. No, I don't know this song. No, everyone knows this song. What song is it Wow, come on. Oh my god, this is gonna kill me. Time to get swifty in here. Upstairs with no lines. I can't race, dude. Oh, I'm no. handicapped. <laughs> I forgot you're 80. Shut up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you got help? Wow, that looks so pretty. Oh, I just offered you help. Oh. How are you gonna help me? That's not helpful. Oh. <gasps> okay, so I don't know. I know this is a museum, but so they have four different sections. They have a music section with Pearl Jam. They have a horror section, fantasy, and a sci-fi section. How many guitars do you think is in there? Almost 700. Nearly 700. I was close though. Nah, bro. No. What? <gasps> What's in here? Gino, where are you? <laughs> Shh. 
you just shut up for once? For once in your life. Uh. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> What? What about little nightmares? What? Where are we going? We're gonna go look at the museum. Museum? Oh, art? Art! Art! <laughs> So these are guitars that they took on tour. Man, sometimes I wish I was part of like the older generation because they got to see Nirvana like live. Yeah. I only get to hear like the remnants of what they left behind. <laughs> so crazy. Copyright. All these people that like, uh, like their music that I love, they all committed suicide. Why do they all commit suicide? This is kind of interesting. This is about comic books. It's talking about how when comic books first came out, when they started to release horror and criminal crime comic books, people were worried that it was affecting children in a negative way, making them want to skip school and become like criminals like they would see in the comic books. So creators had to submit their comic books for revision and get a seal of authority so even back in like the 1950s mid 1900s people were dealing with censorship but in my opinion you don't learn from censorship you learn from I don't know debating it's interesting wow oh my brother would have loved this stuff. He's the biggest like Marvel comic book fan. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Oh my god. These legends. Stan Lee the man. Wow. The man. Yeah. Gino, fun fact. Did you know that Stan Lee has made enough inserts of himself in uh, the upcoming Marvel movies to last up until like years after he dies? So right. even after he dies, he'll still be coming out in movies, like being inserted. Wow, so this is actually really interesting too. This basically says that the formula for Marvel's movies that basically launched them was that they found that when they put all of their characters together in like a family kind of environment where they love each other but they bicker and they argue but you know that they're so loyal to each other and they protect each other that's what makes people like fall in love with the Marvel movies and that's exactly how they did Guardians of the Galaxy and they started doing that I remember with um, the Fantastic Four so it's good to be alone but you're better together so much knowledge this is so cool Wow. Whoa. Wakanda forever. <laughs> These are the real costumes? That is so fire, yeah. <gasps> wow. Well, this is one of the one of the costumes, but they have like multiple. Peter Parker's homemade Spider-Man suit, yeah. worn by Tom Holland. It's Peter Parker. Wow. This is some legendary stuff. I mean, obviously. Sorry if I sound super, like, cheesy. I don't mean to. I'm just honestly, like, I love Marvel. Because I'm not going to act like I know everything about Marvel because I don't. But I am a fan of Marvel. I 
fully enjoy their movies. I think their storylines are brilliant. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I just don't know everything though. You guys are looking at the Tesseract that was used in the, in the Captain America movie. The first Avenger. Oh my god, this is freaking crazy. Like, just, just so you guys know, I'm not lying. This says, as appeared in Captain America, the first Avenger. Facts. I give y'all facts. Jesus Christ, I'm freaking out, guys. <laughs> I became like so obsessed with um, Iron Man because of his wit. He's just so funny and like witty and he's always making everyone else feel like dumb for, I don't know, not thinking the way he does and it's just like he's such a likable character and this is the suit he wore in Iron Man that came out in 2008. What? Uh, Robert Downey Jr. was inside of this. That's his heart guys. That was his heart. The heart of a genius. Wow. What's this? Are you Iron Man now? Aim! Oh, push forward? Ooh! Pay attention! I want to try. You're not even trying. Come on. It looks like you're grabbing titties. Okay, yeah. Okay. Ready for you. Boots is gonna become Iron Man. <laughs> become Iron Man, Boots. You uh, are Iron Man. Welcome to the Iron Man experience. Raise your arms to the side. Prepare to suit up. Photo in three, two, one. <laughs> 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 Raise your arms to the side to engage flight mode. She's so serious. I am him. Do you want to hit the wall? Your aim seems a little off. Activating targets now. What is the score online? Aim at the targets at the palm of your hand. Push forward to shoot. What are you doing? <laughs> Bro, Boots, I did way better than that. Well done. Looks like you could be Iron Man. I did way better than that. He didn't tell you you could be Iron Man, did he? No. <laughs> yeah. That was so cool. On behalf of everyone at Stark Industries. Stark Industries. On behalf. <laughs> On behalf of everyone at Stark Industries. <laughs> on behalf of everyone at Stark Industries, bro, these are bad. Ah, that was so cool. Everything here is leaving me speechless. This is the shield of Captain America. Uh, I, I can die happy. Do you have like a thing for Chris Evans or something? No, I have a thing for all of these characters. Oh, uh, is this the one that the winter sh shoulder used? <laughs> the winter shoulder. <laughs> I said the winter shoulder. <laughs> winter shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the winter shoulder. <laughs> As worn by Sebastian Stan. Yep. You guys are reading this with me. These are the costumes that they wore in the Captain America movie. I'm literally blushing right now. I'm blushing hard. Just from standing up in these costumes, like. And no, that has nothing to do with 
how attractive the characters are. It's just, I love Marvel so much. Where'd Gina go? Hmm. Did he get jealous? <laughs> Ooh. Do they have Thanos anywhere? They don't have Thanos. I was expecting a big, like, sculpture of Thanos. Where's his costume? Or does it not exist because he's all digital? Oh my god, it's Groot! Wow, Groot looks so real. <sighs> I'm not the biggest fan of Guardians of the Galaxy, to be honest. Are you guys more fond of like the Avengers or Guardians of the Galaxy? Because I'm most definitely an Avengers girl. I don't know about y'all, but... <laughs> Doctor Strange is also so freaking cool. No, Marvel's just been killing it all these years. Do you see what I see? Doctor Strange really makes you like think about the dimensions. <laughs> It makes me wish it was all true or that like I could summon the energy that Doctor Strange summons. Is that lame? I'm probably super lame for saying all that. <laughs> yeah, you're lame. I, I, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Behind the walls lurks one of Marvel's scariest supernatural characters. Do you dare look? Oh. Sorry guys, I had to look first. What is it? Oh my god. Can you see it? Yeah. Love Daredevil, but where, where, where's Elektra? They really ruined Ghost Rider. Oh, that was Ghost Rider? Yes. Uh. <laughs> I love that movie, though. Not the second one. I like the first Ghost Rider. Daredevil. Daredevil was okay, but they also ruined that movie, too. With ben wow. Ben I love Ben Affleck. Now all of a sudden he's Batman. <gasps> That's true. I don't like Ben Affleck as Batman. I don't like when he says Rachel. <laughs> ben Affleck should have stayed Daredevil for sure. He he was good as like the blind guy. He he was like that hot blind guy for sure. But as a uh, Batman, I don't know. I, I didn't like it. Couldn't buy it. Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> So good. Iron Man, all the way. So here everyone picks their favorite character. I think Black Panther's number yep. Black Panther's number one. But I think Iron Man should be number one because he's just so badass and he's witty and he knows everything that everyone else doesn't. Who else? Who'd be second place? Yeah. Not Falcon. Falcon's gotta be last. Oh, you can vote me favorite. Yeah. I just love Daredevil so much. Nah. Like then uh, I would have to say Iron Man because uh, yeah, saying. I give that a 10 out of 10. Good. Yeah, that was really really good. Wow. I am forever in the corner where nobody is eating, having my little cup of wine. Some things never change. I will never feel social. Thank God he's pretty much the same. We already hit Marvel. What else did we do? How are you? Did you ask me? Uh, not me. She's obviously not talking to me. <laughs> we already did Marvel. And then we also did the Nirvana. And now we're going to do a horror one. A horror walkthrough. And then there's a sci-fi walkthrough. Hell yeah. This is called Scared to Death of Horror Film. Jesus Christ, I love horror movies. If you guys know anything about me, you know that I love horror movies. Oh my god. Tina, that one's moving. You a mean person. I'm gonna. Yeah, okay. Wow. This is a lot of bodies. So you were afraid of Chucky? 
Chucky was. He was a doll, dude. But that was my arch nemesis when I was a kid. You were really like legitimately scared of Chucky. Yeah, like I would have folded Chucky. <laughs> Never mind. No, I thought he would have. Like killed he me. was tiny. How could he possibly get no, you? I watched no horror movies growing up. Bro. I don't know, cause I had like maybe it's because I had a doll. You had a doll? Yeah. You had dolls? Look, Chucky's right there on the screen. No, dude. The Ring? Did you watch The Ring? Yeah, I watched The Ring. Sadako Yamamura. She came out of a TV. She was murdered down a well. Nice. No, it was not. That was the scariest thing. Yeah, I was so afraid of watching TV. I didn't want to have a TV in my room because I was just... We're so terrified. Oh God. Look, wow. the ring. Was it not the ring? See, it wasn't the ring though. I was Jigsaw. Oh, Jigsaw was pretty scary. Wow. Which one did it for you? When I got scared? Yeah, which one of these was like the most? So there's the ring, there's Hannibal Lecter, Jigsaw. You know what? Like Chucky? It's interesting. No, I think it might have been the ring that actually scared me because Chucky was funny. And then right, because it's these, a doll. I know. But like with Jason and them, I was a little bit almost too young, so I didn't understand what I was watching. Me too. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, like, I know exactly what I saw mean, it, yeah. yeah. And then with uh, Freddy Krueger and stuff, but it was the ring that got me really spooked. Do you remember how like she like came out of That's the TV? I didn't I want know, TVs love, in my room. I love Japanese folklore and that kind of stuff. It's, it's so intense. good. It's so... No one does it like they do. No, they really don't. <laughs> That's uh, so cool. This is the coolest thing. I know. <laughs> My brother was really into Pinhead and I didn't understand it. <laughs> no, I never I'm so I never got the Halloween remake. Oh like, I don't know why he liked it so much, but Roker really likes Pinhead. So Roker's my brother, guys, and he made me watch all of the movies. Did you watch it? I watched it with him, yeah. He made me watch all of them. There's like eight of these movies, guys. Freddy Krueger, one of my favorites. Were you afraid of dreaming at night? No. But he was like, Unfazed. Unfazed. Uh, so <laughs> but he was one of my favorites, though, for sure. Like, I love Freddy Krueger. I even have his claw. Oh, yeah, you do have his claw. Do you like the Hannibal Lecter movies? Yes. I this love guy, Hannibal Lecter. Like the way that he would, like, dissect people at his kitchen table he just like opened up their scalp like and they were drugged so they didn't even know what was going on they didn't know that he was cutting into their brain dude how gnarly is that I don't know how you don't like Hannibal Lecter oh my god Jeepers Creepers Oh my god, what? When people slide in the DMs, they're like, oh my This god. is the costume worn in Jeepers Creepers 2001. Wow. Jeepers. How is this a costume? How do people put this on? I don't know. It doesn't even look like a costume. It doesn't. Wow. This is, this is so cool. Chino, this is really is that, cool. Is that what people look like in your DMs? <laughs> this is how I feel when I'm being hit on. Right? Like that. Stop it! <laughs> Please leave me alone. Oh man, I want to steal that mask. Okay, 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 but, but, alien, alien, you guys, holy <laughs> Oh my god, alien, bro, I love alien. I know everybody was Team Predator, uh, Team Predator in that first. I'm going to watch the new Predator. When does it come out? Uh, in October. Sick. <gasps> oh my god, my mom is going to love seeing this. She's gonna love seeing this. Yeah, we, me and her, this was our show. The Walking Dead was our show. All kinds of dead heads everywhere. It oh, looks... this is from when, uh, what's his name? Sever the heads from Walking Dead. Prop heads made for the governor's fish tanks used in Caesar. Island. These were the real fish heads used in the governor's fish tanks. Oh, wow. I wish his daughter was here. Remember the daughter? Oh, yeah. Ugh. Oh. Angry and hungry. I hate you. You're a pretty good scare actor, I'll give you that. Yeah, you're pretty good. Pretty solid. I give you like an 8 out of 10. I almost got you. <laughs> but which of y'all remember Gremlins? What? Throw back. Wow. AVP, hello. When people ask me if I want to have kids, this is the creature that comes to mind. You know how like these things snatch onto your face and then 
somehow they impregnate you through like being on your face and then you become pregnant with this thing's creation and then that thing just like rips out of your stomach that's kind of how I think of pregnancy unfortunately it's this creature this creature is what comes to mind this is the face hugger yep yeah <laughs> what does it do go in there do it do it <laughs> I'm terrified. I'm being real. You have to. You have to push deeper. No. <laughs> you do it then. Nothing. Oh. Okay. That's creepy. Yeah. Exhibits, dude. I really like it. I like it a lot. House that has clock walls that talk. Listen to them, the children of the night. What sweet music they make. Oh, oh. Uh, touch the screen to begin. Sexual power. This says. There was a deliberate voluptuousness which was both thrilling and repulsive and as she arched her neck she barely licked her lips like an animal till I could see in the moonlight the moisture shining on the scarlet lips. Killed it. Killed it. Wow, you guys. Wow, you guys. This is so cool. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, here we go. Wait until we get inside. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay. Fantasy is our oldest form of storytelling, once a way of explaining a seemingly unknowable world. The genre still resonates as an escape from our everyday lives. I feel like religion is the same thing. It's an escape into our everyday lives. Do you not agree? Yeah. Yeah. And it go a little so what 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 run away love run away run away love run away run away this is the map. We must not get lost. Oh my God. Wow, you really know this. Go Chino. Okay, because my camera is at 6% right now, I am going to end this vlog off right now because just like I don't want this camera to die. But anyways, if you guys like this video, please do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. You're gonna see so much more with me and Chino, and just like much more in general. But um, thank you guys so much for supporting me. I love all of you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys. Twitter.